Hello everyone, my name is Hao Wendong, and today I'm going to present you a convolutional generative diversity of new, new uh, networks with binary neurons for polyphony music generation. So this is a joint work with my advisor, Yixuan Yang, and we are from uh, Academy of Sinica, Taipei, Taiwan. So basically, what we are trying to generate here is multi-track piano row. So you can see here an example of a multi-track piano row of four bars. So it consists of uh, multiple tracks, and they are all polyphonic. And on the right-hand side, I show a typical GAN. So the generator try to map the noise into the data space, which is the multi-track piano row here. And the discriminator try to tell the real data from the fake data. So specifically, we use CNNs for the generator and the discriminator. So, and this is a, a following work for the MuseScan model in our lab. So uh, in MuseScan, we have already shown that uh, CNNs can actually capture musically relevant features for different tracks. For example, uh, you can see the drum patterns in the drum track and the bass line played by the bass. And uh, you can see chords in the piano, guitar, and string track. So what's wrong with the MuseScan uh, model? So because we are using convolutional neural network, so the output of the generator is real valued. However, our automate target output is actually binary value piano rows. So in this work, we propose to append a refiner that further refine the re real value predictions of the generator into binary value predictions. So here's a uh, chart comparing the MuseScan model and the proposed binary MuseScan model. So the main difference is that the generator is now outputting uh, binary value predictions, which is the same as the real data. So we think this, uh, with this mod modification, uh, we can uh, reduce the training difficulties for the discriminator, and also it allow us to uh, directly produce uh, binary value piano rows at the test time. Okay, so specifically, the refiner is composed of a series of residual units and a layer of binary neurons. So, and we also propose several new designs, uh, such as shared private designs for the generator and the discriminator, and also the onset offset stream and chroma stream to further improve the generator and discriminator. Okay, so here's some qualitative result. So in the middle, we show the MuseScan's output. It's real valued. So if we apply naive binarization strategies, such as hot thresholding and Bernoulli sampling, you can see that it produces a lot of uh, overly fragmented nodes. However, if you use binary MuseScan with deterministic binary neurons, it produces less overly fragmented nodes. So we also compare different training strategies and different network architectures using several uh, quantitative uh, measures. So if you are interested in our model and experiments, or you want to listen to the demos, please come to stand B7, just right over here. Okay, thank you.